Um, okay, so I think I'm just gonna like launch into this song and talk about it afterwards so that we can like create maximum vibe. Hey, it could be that we found it. We've danced around it. Never committed Yeah I want a chance to show you I want to know you've Seen what I can do But you tell me don't wait Tonight you can't put me first Say you gotta stay late To put out a fire at work to be the right fit, yeah, but don't you write me off yet, I'm a cost I can offset, let me prove it, I want you to loosen, to get your mind ready, want you making excuses, why you gotta stay here with me. that song, I was going to do this show in Albuquerque, and I had a friend who was a band, manage, a band manager for a couple of bands that were really taken off, and I was like, 
gosh, wouldn't it be cool if he wanted to come to one of my shows and be really impressed and think that he should be my manager too. So he was planning on coming to this show that it's a good thing that he didn't come to because it was a poorly attended show where I blew a speaker. Um, but like a half hour before the show, he emailed me and he said, I'm really sorry, I'm not gonna be able to make it. I've gotten caught up putting out a fire at work. And my first petulant thought when I read that email was, I wanna be one of your work fires. And um, because I had a lot of time on the road to think about it, because I was on tour with a friend and we were driving like 12 hours the next day, um, that became a chorus. This one I think speaks for itself and it came after a long, long line of men in venues and restaurants across the United States called me sweetheart and darling and other things I really don't like to be called by people who aren't that to me. And the kicker was after I'd gotten home from tour and I was like, okay, I won't have to deal with that again for a little while. I uh, delivered a burrito to a guy in an audio store who was like, he didn't even look at me, just was like, thanks, sweetheart. And like, I had the rest of the shift to work, but by the time that I got home that night, this song was half written.
Thank you so much to Arizona Arts Live for making this awesome thing happen. I'm so psyched to be here in Centennial Hall, where I used to come see like Broadway shows as like a, an 11 and 12 and 13 and 14 year old growing up in Tucson. Um, so there's some good memories here. It's a good place. So I started performing and writing songs as Shark Heart right around the time that I moved back to Tucson um, four years ago. I literally was driving to Tucson the day after Trump got elected, thinking, what the hell am I doing moving back to Arizona, um, which was then a red state. Um, but things have changed, which is welcome. Um, and I, I feel like I, I'm, I'm prouder of my state and, and where it's been going um, since I moved back here. So you're welcome, Arizona. <laughs> um, <laughs> But so this was the first song that I wrote after I moved back to Tucson. Um, and it was sort of uh, this expression of like being in a place where I wanted to roll my sleeves up and I wanted to um, make sure that if I was trying to be part of the family that was changing things for the better and making sure that we're creating a more just world and a world with more equity um, that I was actually putting some skin in the game and this song kind of became the shark heart manifesto and it's called nothing but family and my friend Andrew Bates played the bass on it so thanks for the bass Bates Ooh.
thank you again to Arizona Arts Live. This is really, really cool to be able to do this. Um, all of COVID, I've been uh, just like performing, what do you call them? Virtual, virtual, virtual concerts and like just sitting down at my keyboard. So this is the first time that I've stood up and played keyboard in like almost a year, I think. And um, I forgot how much I'm really always just on my left foot. It's, it's sort of like wearing high heels, but just with a regular heel. OK. <laughs> Another Arizona Arts Live set complete!